Okay, there we go. Okay, so, um, hello Slices, and welcome to the third edition of the Baking Tray Podcast. I thought this was the fourth. No, it's the third. third. It's, that's, it's that's the third because, I am. Yeah, it's, it's the third because January doesn't exist as a podcast. <laughs> Did it you just assume month. that? It exists as a month, but not a podcast. Um, <laughs> this, uh, this week, um, week, month... Uh, getting <laughs> period of space time. Yeah. Space time. Star date. <laughs> yeah, this it's like coming up on this edition of the baking tray. Yeah. <laughs> when you do that, uh, the Top Gear theme needs to kind of just play over it. Yeah. Yeah. James eats cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm James then. <laughs> oh, um, I don't think we're that's, yeah, we're not that slow. <laughs> You're not Captain Slope. Yeah. Anyway, we, I'm Maybe. joined this month by uh, Jared. Uh, uh, by, uh, by Mr. Jared Ray, uh, Mr. James May. I mean, Beck. <laughs> Thanks. Um, and um, Stephen Watt. Hello. And also the ghost of Amy for the second time. She's a recurring <laughs> character now. Yeah. Um, she may be resurrected or may not. Who knows? Well, it, it, it depends. We, ha- we have sorcerers working on it. Greg has not charged his alt to resurrect her. <laughs> No. My healing spell is upon you. <laughs> yes, uh, this week we're going to be talking about um, live action Disney films and also what grinds our gears. <laughs> uh, we're going to start off with the Disney live action films. Uh, and I've actually done a bit of prep for this for once. Okay. Oh, wow. Whoa. Yeah. Get I, you. I, I would like <laughs> yeah. to say I prepped, but I kind of just watched really, like trashy anime last night which Bex will never let me live down <laughs> yeah. Yeah. well I, I've, I've, done, I've done some prep for this so I've, I've, I've listed all of Disney's live action plans mm. so oh I think because I've seen a video about this where the, I think there was like 19 or something movies that they were planning to live action well, there's, there's, current, there's currently 6 out and 1, 2, 3, Bef- 4, 5 before we six, mention this can I just mention how the li- can we really call The Lion King a live action film Considering oh, yeah. there are no humans in yeah. that movie. Well, there are thirteen coming out. There are thirteen in the works, ready to like being developed, and six that are already out. Got, so that's nineteen total. Yeah. yeah. So, so we've got Alice in Wonderland, Alice through the Looking Glass. Ooh. I haven't seen through the Looking Glass. I've seen the first one, mm-hmm. but not the second one. I can't wait for it to get to the last one, where we get to the point that Samuel Jackson turns up and recruits them all to the Avengers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Maleficent, oh, Cinderella, yeah. Yeah. The Jungle Book. And Beauty and the Beast. Those are the ones that have been released. I'm yes. not gonna lie. I've only seen Be- I've only not yet, I've only seen um, Jungle Book out of those. And come here. Why have, I, why have I listed Mary Poppins as Mary Poppings? <laughs> uh, Mary Poppins. What it's exactly? Uh, <laughs> for legal reasons, we're not allowed to say Mary Poppins. Yeah. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Um, got Mary, Mary, I'm gonna Mary Pop a cap in your ass. Yeah. So you've got Mary Poppins, Mulan, mm-hmm. The Little Mermaid, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, The Lion King, Cruella de Vil, Ooh. Aladdin. Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, Maleficent 2, Ooh. Electric Boogaloo, <laughs> Dumbo, Winnie the Pooh, Pinocchio, and Chernoborg. What on earth is Chernoborg? Chernoborg is the villain it- in Fantasia. Oh, no, say- vi- oh, it's so Satan. They're doing a movie about Satan. No, I, most of them, when you were reading them out, I was like, yep, I know about that one, and that one, and that one. <laughs> I didn't know about Tinkerbell. Am I? Right. Um, and t- I forgot about Corolla de Vil. Mm. Yeah. I, I, when you said it, I was like, oh yeah. Well, yeah. But um, uh, they're, they're doing a fair amount of, vil- of villain stuff as well with Chernoborg, Sh- um, Corolla de Vil. Next is going to be Bambi's mom's hunter. Um, <laughs> oh no, that already exists. Ron Swanson. Like, <laughs> that already exists. Have you seen um, what you seen like most of the stuff on uh, the History Channel? <laughs> like, uh. Have it, like, uh, I'm just, uh, was, um, wasn't the Sorcerer's Apprentice part of like one of the Fantasia films, or was am I mis- I don't think I want Nick Cage so- to be part of it. Was the Sorcerer's Apprentice not um, Chronicles of Narnia? No, no. Sorcerer's Apprentice was a Disney film that was done, and it was at... It you, know, you know, like, Nick with Nicky and the, you know, the walking broomsticks? Like, oh, yeah. Do you know the film right. with Nick Cage in, with long hair, being a really edgy kind of sorcerer? No. Exactly, no one remembers <laughs> it. <laughs> See, the reason I think the reason they're doing villains one is because they did Maleficent. Yeah, and it and did really that, well. Yeah, because it, it, it was Sleeping Beauty, but as told by the villain as opposed to the traditional yeah. story that we all know, and it went brilliantly. I mean, yeah. I think that's one of the first movies I've been to the cinema to see twice. I don't think I've seen Maleficent. I could just turn it with Dragon at the end. No. No, oh, for God's sake. That'll be Maleficent 2. That'll be, that'll be Maleficent 2, I'm guessing. <laughs> Not turning it with Dragon. Damn it. Like we have to wait. To, we have to. Now, the now, part what, of what, now we've got to wait until Snow White Civil War to get that. <laughs> the thing is, though, that she didn't turn it with Dragon, but she. Because the way they did it is she was like an evil fairy. Yeah. And she mm. had these really awesome wings, right, that were cut off. 
and that's how she ended up a evil mm. Nazi fairy. Anyway, evil Nazi fairy. Uh, yeah. Nazi fairy. Not a Nazi fairy, a nasty fairy. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say. No, no, no. Can we rewrite it now? <laughs> no, no, no. no, 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 no. Roll. Just roll with it. She's no, a Nazi fairy. Tell no. us what happens next. No, right. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna can that idea this before I continue. This is the of the first Reich. But no. Those, fairies those, in Neverland. Those <laughs> wings. Um, the, I think. I only remember those wings because I was at um, NFCC a couple of years back. Yeah, yeah. I, I, was kid, I, remember I think now. you do remember yes, this car with the, it the was fantastic. proper wings with me, proper feathers. Like, oh there will God, be one thing. I, I think will, I love this kid. <laughs> there will be one thing yeah. I will never forget from NFCC, and Bex still needs to send me that video. Oh yeah, we'll not talk about that. We'll um, not talk about that. But um, yeah, Malefic- Maleficent worked really well. So yeah. because Maleficent's done well, they're like, right, okay. Let's focus on other villains like Cruella de Vil. She's awesome villain in our yeah. right. Kind of like I remember that song from a kid. Cruella yeah. de Vil. Cruella de Vil. Shut up! Shut up! If shut up! She doesn't scare you. No, no evil, evil thing will. I thought of cassette. Yes. Wow. <laughs> it was a cassette with like a little load of Disney songs on, wow. and that was like the last track of side B or something. I think I know which cassette you're on, Max. I think I may have also owned said cassette. Yeah, in the red case. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I had a CD like that. I was, we, I was all about cassettes we, when I was I think a kid. it was free in like the Daily Mail. Yeah. Although speaking with, speaking of cassettes, I got the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume One cassette. Oh, that's awesome though. Uh, yeah. So you'll be getting Awesome Mix Two when that comes out. Is it as good? It's Awesome Mix Two as good as the Awesome Mix One. Yeah. I'm probably what? gonna say I'm probably gonna be dis- I'm, when I see Guardians, I'm probably gonna say it's not because I'm a huge Bowie fan and Moon Age Daydream happened to be my favorite song. I've just realised I made a pun. You said got the Guardians of the Galaxy cassette, and I went, "That's awesome." Ah! ah. Eh. Nice. <laughs> People can't see the disgust on my face right now with that pun. <laughs> yeah. But yes, yeah, so like, um, got the, the I think the only one of the upcoming Disney live-action remakes has got a release date, and that's Mulan, which is coming, which is coming next year. Like, that makes sense. I'm actually looking forward to that. I wasn't I, until they said man, it said uh, songs in it. I, I I really enjoyed the Mulan. The, the cartoon film, so I'm actually I'm, I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing how they actually handle the live action one. Apparently, Ming Na Wen is going to have a role in Mulan. She's oh. Avengers. No, Agents, Agents of Shield. Shield. Melinda Man. I was getting See, on the right line. She's she also saying voiced Sam Jackson. Is she's actually the, she was she was the voice of Mulan in the original yeah. cartoon film. Yep, yeah, she was. She, she was also she played, if I remember rightly, she also played Chun Li in the Street Fighter movie. I think. Quite possibly. I mean. She, I, I would not be complaining about that. I, I would not be remembering that. I'd probably remember the role, but I just probably wouldn't remember the rest of the movie. Yeah, it's, it's still a of course. It's still a fun film. I mean, like oh, it's fun until like it's, well, we're getting off topic. Until you remember that it's Street Fighter. The thing is, though, it's like it's one of those things where you see it to see you've seen it. That's yeah. it. I think, but not, but not, yeah, but that, but I think four. Ming Out Wen will be Mulan's mother. Ooh, that would be. I mean, she's not she's not old enough to be um, Mulan's grandmother. Yeah. I don't know. With a, like a bit of makeup. Cricket. With a bit of makeup and stuff. Just oh, remember yeah. Harrison Ford and uh, who was it that played this? Uh, Indiana Jones' father. I can't remember now. Sean Connery. Yeah, Harrison oh, yeah. Sean Ford and Sean Connery aren't, weren't were quite similar age when they made their um, last, was the last crusade. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's weird to think that. Yeah, because we don't acknowledge one after that. <laughs> no, 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 Kingdom of Crystal Skull isn't that bad. But good films you know come in trilogies. Yeah, John Hurt in it. I'm like. Yeah, it was a decent movie, I'm not going to lie, it had some fun action. Um, yeah. um, I mean, it had pre-crazy Shia LaBeouf. And, I, I mean, to be fair, it was pretty crazy to begin with. Um, technically, this is on topic, because it is Disney now. It, 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 it is kind technically of, a Disney sort movie. Sort of, I guess. Yeah. Sort of. Well, look, just, just thinking about returning um, actors and actresses and stuff, we have um, James Earl Jones returning as Mufasa yes! in the Lion King movie. Thank God, yes! Like, it's, to be fair, they could just get the entire cast who's still alive, I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't like, it's not like there's any humans in this movie, unless you're gonna go and do the musical. <laughs> no. But, uh, but in all seriousness, I'm actually really happy they're getting, like, James Earl Jones back to do Mufasa, because, like, my god, like... He, I, I, thought, I thought he did a really good job in the original film, so... It's... Oh, yeah, like, no doubt. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that they've brought him back for that. Can we yeah. cast Christopher Walken in some way? Because he made the Jungle Book actually tolerable. Um, in the, uh, also in the, uh, was Christopher Walken in the jungle? Haven't he Louis? King Louis. Yeah. He's Haven't he also? Uh, I want to be like you in it. 
I was going to say, haven't they also revealed um, a few more of the actors for The Lion King? I mean, I know that, um, and uh, if I remember rightly, I think, was it uh, Seth Rogen's voice in Pumba? I think. That's the best choice. Oh, yeah, there was um, Seth Rogen and so- somebody else voicing uh, as Timon voice and Pumba. Timon and Pumba, yeah. That was announced a couple of days ago. Mm-hmm. I don't remember. A couple of days ago as recording. Maybe not so when this is out. <laughs> yeah, a couple of days ago. Yeah. Um, this is still in April, that's how. Um, but... I don't remember who the other guy was. I, I recognise both the names, but I can't remember the other, the other... You can't remember the other guy. I can't remember, yeah. Funny comedian man. <laughs> Person. And I will get Seth on the Rogen's laughter. Oh, Bex, Bex is saving the day with this one. I'll get on the interwebs. Okay, whilst Bex is searching for that, can we complain about some uh, bad, like, what the bad decisions Disney could make with these movies? Like, the uh, potential of originally whether we're going to not do any of the songs in Mulan. And if originally, I was fine with that. Then I remembered the best Disney song is in that. Yes. Uh, Make a man out of you. Yes, oh, exactly. And then, and then they're like, no, we've got to do it. And then they, they, they went back and said, yeah, no, there is going to be musical numbers in Mulan. Like, I don't have the name. Oh, good. So, obviously, Seth Rogen is uh, Pumba and Billy... I'm going to say that. A... A... Aishner? Billy Aishner? Yeah. Billy, I hope I'm not racist for mispronouncing this. Let's see. Aishner? Yeah. Aishner. Billy Aishner. So is he going to play the Nazi in the Mulan uh, Nazi fairy? It's spelt with letters in a weird formation that I can't pronounce. E-I-C-H-E-R. So basically, I share. I, uh, yeah. That's not like a new feature on an iPhone. <laughs> the iShare. I feel like yeah, it's, basi- it's, it, it, it's basically if you believe in life after love. Um, <laughs> do you believe in life after love? Oh, iShare, come <laughs> Oh. I don't know, but uh, Ghost Amy, what's your opinion on this? Clara's the best companion? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I only like, know how to say it. It's like, I can believe that. It, it's how <laughs> she's basically became one of the. Um, what are they called? The Vashta Narada? And it's the last oh, recording the Vashta in the Nevada, yeah. Um, the last recording was Amy saying Clara is best girl. Yeah. But, but yeah, like, um... I'm curious to see how they're going to do some of these movies. Like, hmm. uh, Tim Burton's doing Dumbo. Yes, Tim. that. So Tim Burton's going to do that, and that's going to... So that's going to that's gonna put a darker twist on it. Personally, film, I I'd say he should do Pinocchio rather than Dumbo. He might end up doing Pinocchio. I don't know if they've confirmed a director for that yet. Well, let's be so honest, it's, it's like, Tim Burton's style is ge- is generally like um, yeah. disproportioned people, and like Pinocchio's got a ma- vastly disproportioned nose half the time, so... Yeah. Well, I mean, Tim, is, is, is Pinocchio Tim says, my nose I mean, he's, do, he's done the Alice in Wonderland film, and I think he's got to be doing through the looking glass, so... He, no, through, um, yeah, I think he did, I think he did. Through the looking glass already happened. Yeah, yeah, but I think he, I think Tim Burton did it, though. I think he, he I don't think he directed it, though. I think he stepped down from he, that He role. might have produced it, I, I'm not sure. Because I think he, he was, was involved. Because I think he was working on his, um, his equivalent to the X-Men films, which I can't remember the name of, that's why I'm saying Tim Burton's X-Men. Oh, the, oh, yeah, um, I can't remember the name, it was at Home for Extraordinary Kids or that something. That movie oh, that got the yeah. gold audience. Yeah. Like, oh, is this Miss Peregrine? Yes. Yeah, Miss Peregrine. Some, some people went, yeah. to, went to see it, and they're like, no, it, it basically, like, stuffed, like, the entire series of books into one film and it doesn't work. Yeah. The, the, what was the whole? Wasn't it like she transformed into a peregrine falcon or something what like on that? Earth? <laughs> like because I know she like transforms into a bird. Of some no idea. Oh. It's Tim Burton's X Men. Oh. That's the, that's his equivalent of the Doc of the Dark Phoenix arc. Yeah, but that's that's how not to do a film just compress yeah. too much. Like like compress like 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 how many books was it all told? Oh. Four or five. I think. Uh, I, I, yeah, I don't, don't quote me on that. But yeah, compressing like that many books into one film is like Warner a Brothers really of Japan bad idea because you're just skipping over so much information. Warner basically. Brothers of Japan should take up, take notice to this Full Metal Alchemist live action film. Ooh, but again, I think we're getting maybe a bit off topic. But yeah. podcasts think, always yeah, go off rail. Yeah, we're talking about Tim Burton. So. Yeah, I, I guess it was a bit there, but you know, yeah. like. But, um, I'm surprised they don't want to do a live action uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. It seems like something they'd end up doing. I don't. I don't think it's worth See, it. it would, yeah, but imagine the would, money Disney would make. It would detract from the original. I think. The thing is, Nightmare yeah. Before Christmas is an iffy one on the Disney front because there's a question of is it Disney, is it not? It's in the Disney. Yeah, it's store. In, I mean, you go to Disneyland and it's plastered everywhere, but. There's still the question of is it really Disney? Yeah, because it wasn't really made by them. I think was it like was it Touchstone that had it originally, and then I think like so, yeah. and then obviously Disney bought that out. So, so um, so how long it? until all of the, uh, how long until they decided, hey, now now Frozen's made money, let's make more money live action. No, they're making a Frozen too. Yeah, yeah but how long until the juice sensors kick in? 
honestly, I think, um, I think they're gonna just stick with the animated for Frozen. So like the newer stuff, they'll stick with the animated for yeah. Frozen. So like, I like mean, things the, 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 better the, animated. Yeah. Turned, I think they've turned Tangled into a TV series. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's the a Tangled TV series which is set between the end of the movie and the start of the Tangled Ever After. And it's a, I, I remember reading the article on it because it's the first time a Disney princess has actually turned down a marriage proposal. No. Because I think, what's his face? Flynn? What, Eugene, yeah. whatever his name is, or actual name is. Yeah. yeah. Sort of pops they never the question get the nose and right. she freaks out and runs away and says no. Wow. She's the first princess to do it. Like, good. Yeah, it's. What do you know what the downside is? Clint's a good guy. Why didn't you? Why did you turn him down? You, you can't marry a man you've just met. <laughs> Especially I know. Tell that to Aurora. <laughs> <laughs> She's dancing in the, you know, singing a song about how she met someone in her dream. A random stranger comes out of nowhere. Didn't hey, let's dance. Wait, didn't and then she's like, oh, I don't I'm, know I'm, you. I'm, and then after three seconds, oh no, it's I'm fine. I'm sorry. I'm just imagining David Bowie playing now. <laughs> let's dance. Didn't Frozen have an entire song about something like that? Um, when Anna met the the dick guy. Ah, uh, yes, yep. uh, Love is an Open Door. Yeah, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure about that. And I'm pretty sure that Elsa, being the responsible one, was the first one to say, you can't marry a guy you just met. That's exactly, I think that's exactly yeah. the line she said, is you can't yes. marry the guy you've just met. Yeah. Said no other Disney princess ever. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Actually, what was it? I think was it Sleeping Beauty or Snow White in the original story? Um, well, Snow White or Sleeping Beauty, whichever one it was, was asleep. The, 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 the asleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, which, which, whichever one it was, it was, it was one, or, one or the other. Um, the prince doesn't actually go up and kiss her; he rapes her. It's Snow White. Well. It's Sleeping Beauty. I think it's, it's Sleeping Beauty. It's, about it's Sleeping Beauty. That, wow. that gives That's the name dark. Sleeping Beauty a whole new meaning. Hans Christian Andersen. Yes, basically, all the original stories are like much more brutal than the Disney oh, ones. The, like, the Little Mermaid is horrid. Like, yeah, Jubilee, yeah, all of them are German as well. Yeah, it was like the Little, the little Mermaid one, like. It, it actually pained her to walk on her legs, mm -hmm. and she like tries to stitch her legs back together. Wow! And there's, I think there's, there's also kids. one. There's also one where I think um, the prince uh, Eric sort of stays under his trance, marries Ursula, and um, sorry to bring the, the mood down, but Ariel actually kills herself. Wow! Yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Uh, that, uh, that's that's take note. Familiar. Make yeah. this. You might get an Oscar. But also, oh wait, you'll get one anyway. Yeah, but but also there was uh, Cinderella, the original Cinderella. The like the glass slippers weren't glass; they were made of squirrel fur. Ooh, because, what? Well, it's because in French, the original story is French, and in French, squirrel fur is ver, spelled V-A-I-R, and glass is ver, which is V-E-R-R-E, -E, and they audibly sound very similar. So you got ver and ver. I feel like if you turned up, um, it was just a mistranslation. Of, um, squirrel fur. Ah. all think she's a bit of a tramp. So squirrel, so squirrel, so squirrel, so, so yeah, like and also in the original story, the ugly sisters actually mutilated their own feet to yeah. fit into the slipper. Wow. There's also a version where over. when Sleeping Beauty gets married, the birds sort of peck their eyes out, like right. the sisters' eyes out. All right. Not Cinderella's, duh. Um, but the evil sisters. I think the birds peck their own eyes no, no, out. No, like how long are that? Well, maybe they're the birds from Dumbo. Well, <laughs> The thing is, is in Into the Woods, which is a Disney musical, yeah. um, where it combines like all of the fairy tales, mm -hmm. they actually incorporated that. All right. So there was a bit where you know there's a Cinderella storyline and then all that happens, and and then it's like, and then the birds peck their eyes out and they die. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. that was a very subtle slip yeah. in there. Kind of reminds me of Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think what was the what was the other thing I was thinking of just a minute ago. I had a point um, as well, and I forgot it. I know it was. It was um, I, completely I, I, can hear the, I can hear the cogs turning in your head. Completely I think this is what grinds his gears. Oh. Take away! <laughs> oh dear Christ. I'm, I'm trying to think what it was. That I, can't, I, can't, I can't remember what it was I was thinking of. Just say something random. Do you know what's really funny? Like, Flip the wob. Uh, I'm pretty like, sure that's this time Morty tomorrow, line. you'll be like, guys, I got it, and we'll all get a message. I'm like, oh. oh <laughs> I'm definitely. like, okay. Yeah, more, more or less. Mate. I've remembered it now. <laughs> So what, what would people want to see from Disney live action wise? I've said Treasure, Treasure Planet multiple times. Treasure oh Planet might work, yeah. They like, don't, don't have it handle it, but maybe Hercules. Actually, yeah, uh, somebody for, for um, what, what's, what's her name? Um, Aubrey Plaza as Meg. 
Ooh. No, no, can we have Hercules? But it's just, he's just played by Arnold Schwarzenegger throughout the entire thing. Mega right. My friends call me Meg. Yeah, what if I had any friends? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like, there's like April from Parks and Rec. That would, like, that, that's just April from Parks yeah. and Rec. It's weird because there's a, right, there's a thing I do at work where I've got to cut this string. It's related to Disney, bear with me. Right, okay. so I've got to cut this string. You know the bit in Hercules where they cut the string of fate? Oh, yeah. I do that every time. I'm like, eeeeek! <laughs> the with these scissors! The threat won't cut! <laughs> Wrong lever! Right, so basically, Hercules is kind of ruined for me, um, a certain line, because if anyone here has played Kingdom Hearts 2, I feel like you'd probably know what I'm talking about, and by that I mean Steve, I think, knows, and that is, GET Wait. UP ON THE HYDRA'S BACK! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get up on the Hydra's back! It says it every minute. <laughs> oh, so every is, is minute. Is it like that message, message, uh, mission in the GTA San Andreas where you got to follow the train? And oh dear I... Christ, that friggin' train mission! <laughs> oh my god, no, I'm having like some form of weird yeah, it's flashback. Like, you just had to follow the train! Like, I was following the train, thank you. The, the time where we did that and I was more or less freaking on the train and yeah. you had to follow it. Yep, it's yep, yep, not, yep, um, it's non flashbacks. I don't remember that. <laughs> oh yeah. my god, that, that mission frustrated me so much. Well, it was, was so it San Andreas? Simple. It was San Andreas. Yes, yeah, sweet. Because it, it was um, what's his face on the back? George. Uh, Arnold, no, 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 the car. Peter. It wasn't, I didn't have a basic name like that, no. dude. Black um, guy. Crap, what was his name? No, Crabopolis Michael. Crabopolis Joe. You know, gee, I'm having a with you moment now. What was his <laughs> name? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's gonna come. It's like halfway through this podcast. I'll name. scream out a name, and you're like, what? "It's Smitty Werberham Jaggerman Jensen," because he was number one. Hey, <laughs> bless you. He did the dab. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think that's. Um. Oh God. So uh, now that you've mentioned what you would would like Disney to do, I kind of covering all the bases I want. Because I mean, I would quite, I would quite like to see Pinocchio. I yeah. would love to see. What's Pinocchio. What's the most offensive Disney film? Well, actually, I'm seeing Pinocchio live action, the bit where the kid transforms into a donkey. That's going to be... Oh, I've just thought of one which I would like to see, actually. The Sword and the Stone. Actually, yes! I heard a rumour about that. Apparently, they're, they're sort of working on something. Can we make it into a British well, Well, there's actually a King Arthur movie at the moment. Uh, it looks was... weird and stupid, it, and it, it looks it, brilliant it, for it, that. It, 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 I'm not entirely sure about it. With, uh... And by that, I mean I'm going to stream it. Is it... Who am I thinking of? Is that the one with... British actors is Tom Hardy in it? Might be, yeah, I, I, think, I think Tom Hardy and I didn't pay um, much attention to it because I was Jude, just like I want to watch Guardians of the Galaxy Law, now, think, please. What? Possibly. I was still it was one of the trailers before Guardians 2 yesterday. I'm like, I forgot to uh, just want to watch Guardians, please finish. Please I wasn't Jude. paying too much attention to it. I'm having to hold out for Guardians still. Oh, we're not talking about it here because uh, I, although I, I, I want to spend it for those of you who, who haven't seen it, there are five post-credit scenes. So, what, five? Oh dear, five. five. Wow. I don't have time meta. for one, never mind five. Why is that five? Because it's meta. To try and throw people off, I guess. I don't know, there are, there, are, there, are, there are five. I have one question. Is Howard the Duck in one of them? No. Well... So anyway, let's move on to uh, the game, I think. So I think we're coming up to about the 20 minute mark. Oh, well, 25 minute mark nearly. Oh, well, so, game time. Yeah, so game time. So I'm um, the, the game that I was originally going to do, I couldn't find. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming it was in the shed full of earwigs. Um, <laughs> and possibly and possi and possibly so mouse droppings. Oh, but, um, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to play an alphabet game. Okay. Not familiar with an alphabet game? Well, I'm gonna lose. Uh, well, <laughs> well, 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 twenty-one. We have, well, we have, we have the letters of the alphabet, okay. obviously. And what we do is we we have a topic, and starting with each one of you, go around and you name something beginning with the next letter of the alphabet. But so I'm gonna lose. So Jared will na uh, name something in that category beginning with A, and then Bex B, and then Stephen C, and then back to Jared can I, D. Can I, if I can be B, can I just put my name down? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what about you? <laughs> it depends what the category is. If, if, if the it, category is pie, can I say Bex? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Bex pie. I'm gonna say ass. Ask pie. We, we don't, we what, don't. What's the topic though? That's the question. Yeah, that's we, the question. We'll come to the topic in a moment, but first, uh, the prize. 
for today. Oh. I think it's, it, it's, it's, quite, it's quite a good price. You know how, um, a, have you ever ans wanted to answer your phone like this with your hand? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, you can do because you've now got Bluetooth gloves that do that. Oh, what? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so you can, <laughs> so you, you connect this up to your, this glove up to your phone, and when somebody rings it, you can answer it by doing the phone symbol with, like, the phone sign with your hand. Um, Talk to me. Uh, uh, like a speaker in the thumb and a microphone and a little. I like how you what you that. said was, "I'd like, you to, I'd like you to. Uh, have you ever wanted to answer the phone like this? It's a podcast, Greg. It's a podcast. <laughs> Do you don't know me? That well, is, I've been. That, that's still pretty freaking yeah. cool, though. But yes, so um, yeah, we've got the, the handy phone gloves. I guess so because this is a podcast, right? And obviously they couldn't see the hand gesture. You could have been doing anything. <laughs> Peace <laughs> among worlds. <laughs> could have been doing anything. I'm, I'm hanging upside down from the ceiling like Spider-Man. <laughs> Do you ever whilst, answer your phone? Whilst, whilst juggling flaming chainsaws. It's um, like that one scene in Family Guy where Stewie's on the phone to Brian. He's like... What did I tell you about that? In the corner, it's just a, like an alien in a grass skirt juggling uh, flaming torches. <laughs> and it, it's. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Um, is... I might get distracted. And you need to move that glove, I'll get distracted. <laughs> Don't worry, Bex, it's <laughs> yes, not animated. It. <laughs> Bex, Bex, I know what will distract you even more. Do I need to get the animated? No, out? no, 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 we're good, we're good. Okay, so. Um, right, Are you sure? So I think a, we're good. Game a game good topic to start with. Is, wait, just, just you know, like. As you go around, if you can't think of anything, um, you you can pass uh, and you'd you, you be out. That's so, fair. Oh, so if you pass, then it's basically, I'm done. What yeah. if we hit yeah. Z? Do we move on to like a fourth dimensional well, version after, of the after, alphabet? Well, not after, after Z, we just go back to A. Yeah, and just loops. Yeah, just loops. It's basically a circle. That's optimistic. Oh, so Assuming we're gonna get this. <laughs> yes, yes, Jared. Have um, you met any of us, Greg? I don't think we can. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna. So we're gonna start by. I don't even know the alphabets. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, Bex. I get lost Bex. in my G. <laughs> Bex. Um. So wait, you don't know the alphabet, or are you just talking about cup sizes? I just oh. don't know the alphabet. Just think about cup sizes. I, that's not right. gonna help. Anyway, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, let's, 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 let's begin. So uh, we're gonna do video game titles. Ooh. Oh, oh cool. I might stand a chance. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I think that's good enough. Yeah. So we've been talking about films, so I can't like let's do something other. Oh, so video game titles. So Jared starts us off yeah. with A. Uh, Assassin's Creed. Bex B. Bayonetta. Crash Bandicoot. Well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> we want a Jared's D. You know, D. D. <laughs> My D. <laughs> let's not bring anyone's D into this, shall we? <laughs> Wait, what? Day Z, the Armour 2 mod that eventually became a game that no one played. <laughs> uh, so people went back to the mod. Is Earthbound a game? Is what? Yes. Earthbound? Yes, it Earthbound, is. yes. It is. No. Far Cry. What comes after F again? <laughs> 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 See, it's not just me. <laughs> it's not easy, is it, Jerry? Uh, Gundam versus H. Um, I'm trying to remind him the game shop and the shelf. H H H H H. Hitman. Injustice. Injustice. What's J. 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 Um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, uh, Heritage for the Future. Ooh. Throwing out my weed games there. Nah, that was clever. I'm gonna go with Killer Instinct. Hmm. Lego Star Wars. Lego Star Wars. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid. Nia. Sorry. Night ER, Nia. You mean to, to please sit on me to be? Yes. Outlast? P. Pio Pio Tetris. I knew you were going to say that. I'm surprised you didn't say Persona. Persona! <laughs> <laughs> Double, that, 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 that's next round's option gone. Hang yeah. on. How have I done with Q? <laughs> there is oh. a game beginning with Q. <laughs> is there? Probably. Yeah, probably Quiche Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> check, someone check Stream Green. Oh, actually, green you lights. know what, if that's a game, I'm getting it for Adam. <laughs> <laughs> well, Q, think Q, about the Jackbox. Uh, you oh, mini games from Jackbox. Do, do, I was gonna say, do, does Jackbox mini games count? Yes. Then Quiplash. Resident <laughs> Evil. S. Is it, is it, is it definitely S? S. Spiral. Mm -hmm. Tetris. Do, 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 do. You get this is a difficult section you. of the alphabet now. Uncharted. Uncharted. V. Drink sponge. V. Give me a minute, because I actually ha I could actually probably think of something for this. I'm trying to think through Vita games now. Can I say the Vita? No. <laughs> no, that's a system. Virtual Fighter. Yeah. Yeah. 
what was the W? What was the, what was the I, I missed that? Virtual, Virtual Fighter. fighter. Oh, yeah. yeah. W. W. Shit. That is the next letter, right? Yeah. V W. Yeah. Um. Oh shit. You think X would be the difficult one, but I know because I know one so beginning with X, but I, I'm, that's not my letter. Uh, damn it. Um. <laughs> it's a PS One game beginning with it. Um. We are boost simulator. <laughs> I never made that in college. I can think of quite a few beginning with W actually. Yeah. I'm having, my mind's drawn a complete, ah, uh, no. Does the witcher count? Yes. Is yeah. W or T? A W, uh, if you give me a W, I would assume you would give something, yeah. not the the. Oh, yeah, you put the, like, the, the, yeah. the, the would be omitted, yeah. The which is the, yeah, that, yeah that, that's perfectly acceptable. Yeah. X-Men versus Street Fighter. <laughs> Yakuza. Z. Zoo Tycoon. Zoo Tycoon. So what are they even? Well, we've got, we did a complete lap. Well done, everybody. Animal Crossing. <laughs> yep. B, Jared. There's a PS2 game called Black, isn't there? Yes, yes there is. There is. It was a pretty eh game. C. 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 Bear. C. 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 Uh, Crisis. Discia. Good one. My E. e. Yes. Everybody's golf. <laughs> <laughs> so, just, just just to let people know, forget about the H, Hot Shots Golf is ruled out because it's the same game. Okay. Okay. You know well, your H, name. so... Uh, I you know you are, you're G. <laughs> well, Jared's H. <laughs> are you talking about my tit size? Um, F, Final Fantasy. Hmm. Why didn't we say that first time? G, That's losers. G. 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 Gradius. Am I an elf? H. H. Go on, you, you should know the alphabet, Jerry. I don't know the alphabet, that's my problem. Uh, See, I admitted it at the start of the game, so you yeah. know. Hearthstone. <laughs> uh, Hearthstone, yeah. Uh, right. Infamous. J Stars Victory Versus. This is going to go on a while. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell we're all King famous. of Fighters. L. Yeah. Well, what was the last L that was said, so I don't repeat it? Last L that was said, oh, that's a point. Oh, it was Lego, Lego. It was Lego Star Wars. Uh, last Guardian. Really? Okay. Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, um, not the L I expected you to say, but... Uh, Neo. What did you expect me to say, like? The obvious one? Oh. Well, well Bex, you're an O now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was a joke. Um, yes, man. Where do I get the hard letters? <laughs> oh, it's easy. If you think about what the biggest game of last year was. I was just about to say, Overwatch has, been, has not, not been said. It has not been said. Hmm. Pee, Stephen. That's on instruction. <laughs> Don't pee with so the place. Really said. <laughs> Don't want to have to mop it up. Someone. Power Stone. What? Power Stone. Yeah, it was a game for the Dreamcast, a fighting game made by Capcom. Okay. As Adam what would say, I? I'll allow it. <laughs> what am I now? Uh, Q. Q. Uh, Quake. Ah. Uh, Arbex. Ah. 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 Um. Ah. 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 No, that, that's a different letter. Ignore that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking of D cup. I'm, I'm trying to think of something we can make. Ah, oh, Jesus I Christ. Think I think we're at the last one. Oh, nice. Resogun. What, what was the last S that was said? Nobody can remember, can they? <laughs> well, it's so long ago. It was Spider Wars. Spider Wars, yeah. Star Wars Battlefront. Okay, that's again not the obvious S I would have gone for. But... Battlefront can no longer be used for B either, then. Because oh. some people might just say Battlefront, so. T. T. Yeah. Two sugars, please. <laughs> and just like that, next time. Um, <laughs> I know this one as well. Try. Well, let them on T. Yeah. Can I? Can I put? Um, I know what I'm saying. It's off the top. Um, think of few T's. I'm thinking of few T's. Um, and say one of them. I can put, say a few T's. I'd say Earl Grey. Um, <laughs> Breakfast. Breakfast. Uh, tea, um... Lemon ice. 
I know exactly what I want to say as well. I'm just trying to remember it. <laughs> <laughs> The best quote That's code play. for I need more time. I need more time. Don't don't do this to me yet, Greg. I need more mana. I need more mana. I need healing. Um. Oh, you lost my no. Is it lost Vikings? That's just begin with the T. The the. Yeah. No, we, 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 all, we, all, we all we all already we already we already said that the dog was ruled out. Wait, T sim. Wait. What's it? Why was it T simulator? Tea. That game where you've got the mechanical hand. You have to make the cup of tea. Is that is that not called amputee? It's called Amputee, and I only know because I bought it. <laughs> of course it's you called, bought it's it! It's called Amputee. Train Simulator. Okay, yep. It is a thing. Fuck. You, Bex. You. What about me? <laughs> you. Say so Steve said the obvious one. So I remember think of another one. one. The same one at the same time, so I know it's not... I can't say Uncharted, because that's the beat of God. I'll uh, also, I think we can also rule out games in the same series that just have a number whacked on the end. So yeah, yeah, but so we yeah. can't have Uncharted yeah. two. I was never going to say that. You have to wait out. Also, that. I can't just say Call of Duty for every single scene. Yeah. No. <laughs> Shoot. I can think of a you. Quite a famous one from like two years ago now. Um. On PC. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know. I, I think I know which one you're thinking of. I'll be the first one to bow out. Okay. So does does that mean that the U oh. passes to me then? Yeah, we'll yes. say, the, say the letter passes to you, Stephen. I'll bow out. I can't think of one. My mind's just... Okay. Well, I can, I, I can, think, I, 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 I can think of one now. So I think ja- ja- Undertale? Was, yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm thinking. thinking. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Undertale. Um, God damn it! <laughs> Ben Leslie would be disappointed, Bex. And I've or and I've already got my answer for W. Oh sweet. See, I had an answer for W, and then I was like, I wasted it on the last one. God damn it. I think it would be. I swear, God, there is like an old shooter called The Dun. The Dun. It's like in Warfing. I swear, God, there is. Mm. Call what sorry? The Dun. Sam. Like. But, but I, I be 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 I'll start. I'll start. Fact check. Things. Do you need um, to be the red shirt guy from Fact Check Internet? <laughs> so what's it called? Verdun. How, do you know how it's spelled? That place that the war was fought and whatnot. Verdun. V E R D U N, I'd imagine. It's got game after. Yeah, I'm gonna, because it's just come up with a bunch of like historical pictures. I've uh, got yes. one. Verdun is a game. Oh. Okay, Steve. World of Warcraft. Clever. Xenoblade. Why? Why? Why, Steve? Why? 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 Delilah. The less we talk, with the more the music probably comes in. The higher, the heavier the copyright strike will be. Nah, it's fine, man. We'll just keep. Oh. No, you want why, Steve? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. God damn it, Steve! <laughs> <laughs> Zed, Jared. You give us a minute on this. If we a bit of time on this, because it's Zed. <laughs> what wife and me? I'll have no wife and me. Zed. Zed, 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 Zed. Wait, I'm, I'm just going to look for a list now. <laughs> what letter did you, you start with last time, Steve? Um, I started with C. Last time. No, was it A, B, A, B C? Yeah, because I, I got B. B, B, C. Second time round. Yes, yeah, so you would have been A last time. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you'd be A this time, so I'll take A this time, um, then you B, then C. Okay. Oh, so you've got, so got a different letter, yeah. Each time. I know something beginning with Z as well, that's C, not a problem. I, I took C, so, like, it would probably, it would probably be an well, you took so B, so it'd, be, it'd be B for me, I guess. I'm just looking up lists of, because obviously you're on Z, so I'm like, well, it's obscure, I'm going to have a look. And there's a few on here that I didn't even think of. Zero Time Dilemma. Yeah, that's right. So, and so uh, um, a it's a wee game. Just to, to fill in the gap, so... Yeah, just to fill in the gap. Just to fill in the gap. Oh, you know, now you see, what I didn't think ahead was think of something. I've got one. You're not well, allowed. I know I'm not, I'm not in the game, but it's to fill the gap. Okay, so yeah, so sure. Greg's not taking part either. So there's a game called Aegis Wing. It is a like arcade sort of game. Okay. So that's to fill in the A. So B for me. Yes. Burnout. 
because it had a video game. It was a pretty decent PS2 game. I'm <laughs> going get into Disney. <laughs> yeah, link it. So, so, you, so you take D, I'm guessing, because... I know, no, we just bounce back between you guys now. It was just to I'm stop you from starting with A. Alright. So right. just keep going. Yeah. So I'm on D again. Um, D for Dragon. <laughs> That's a weird reference. Dragon Quest. E. EverQuest. <laughs> F. Further Quest. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure Final Fantasy. Yeah, quest. I said Final Fantasy. Fallout. Okay. G. Actually, I'm gonna yes. look up another obscure letter just whilst we're bouncing. Obscure letter. Yeah. So if we ever get the like Q again. Goat simulator. Goat simulator. Train simulator last round. Goat simulator this round. Getting all the simulators in there. Oh. Heroes of the Storm. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I, Jared. So was it infamous or injustice? I we said had? infamous. Uh, both. Injustice and infamous have been said. Yeah. Yeah, I found a few. I, 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 I. I have no mouth and I must scream. <laughs> That's a game. Ooh. It's an old PC game. So J for me. <laughs> Jungle Book Groove Party. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we're going into the depths of obscurity for yeah, this well, one. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. Oh, oh, it's only, it's Which only is kind of topical because Disney. Yeah, it's also only the third layer of this. That's how, how bad we're going. K, Jared. K, okay, okay. Um, also, I've thought of several for Z, so. Really? Well, they're all the same series, but mm. so you don't count for one, really, I think. But. Um, so, okay. it's, it, it's like a brief. It's like. The, the series title and then the game title, I guess. Uh, so Kirby. Hmm. Okay. How we forget? How we forgot about the? Uh, I guess L. So I'm on L. Limbo. Nice choice. M. Uh, M. M for. Oh, I'm not gonna say that. Um, Michael. Micro Machines. Oh, oh, that's a game. It's in. Well. Like getting a new game soon. Yeah. So N. N the Steam. So. I think was I think was Neo the first game. Yeah, we've had, had, had Neo and we've had Neo. Yeah. I've just gone one. Never dead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jared. Oh. 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 We've had Overwatch and we've had Outlast. 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 Outrun. Mm. Uh, Q. No. P. 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 I jumped ahead. Prince of Persia. Q. <laughs> Why have I got Q again? Um, There's one that came up on my list and I was just like, oh, I didn't even think about that one. And if it never comes up in this game, I will tell you what it was. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking it's the one that I'm thinking of a game, or is it something else? Hmm. I'm trying to read your mind, so I'm like, it is. <laughs> just send us a message. I, I, I will. Remember this with our mobile devices being antisocial. Quantum break. <laughs> yes. Ah, mm. uh, oh, Steven. Oh. So we had Resident Evil. And what was the other game that we've had? We've had Resident Evil, we've had... Resogun. Resogun. There's a couple that have just jumped up and I'm like, why didn't I think of those? Trying to keep it hidden from Steve as well, so he doesn't get any yeah. ideas. <laughs> nah, it's hidden in the corner. <laughs> nah. Ooh. I don't know. I'm gonna look that one up. Does, does, does that exist? Um, it sounds like it does. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm fairly sure it might, it might be a Doctor Who episode. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Just thinking. It probably is a Doctor Who episode. Road Rash. Super Mario. So when I googled it, it said no. <laughs> well, I was wrong then, wasn't I? T. Stephen. Hmm. Uh, Tenchu. What? Yeah. Tenchu. Yeah, that's how. What am I now? That's, that's a, that's uh, you. Yeah. 
go back to me that list so I can pretend to be all knowledgeable and things. <laughs> like, look at me, I know all these games, oh my god! Oh, you, you can be the Richard Osman of this podcast. <laughs> Who? Richard Osman. Pointless. Oh, you uncultured swine. I, I know, not all for, no, right, right. Can I slightly sidetrack and come to, um, this is just a random story about pointless. There was one of the dinner ladies back in high school was actually on pointless. That wow. I went to. All right, well, you now, come on. Yeah, you. you. Oh, you. I think next time... I'm not means- allowed to say Tony Hawk's Underground 2. No, because it counts as Tony Hawk. Yeah. Yeah, and now that's eliminated from the tease for the future. Nothing <laughs> said. Yeah. <laughs> Until dawn. Oh. Until dawn, yeah. Okay. V, Stephen. I will be providing entertaining amusement for the music for thought and shit. Sing us da, a da, song. Da, da, da. I don't know what song that is. This is what I made up. Give us, you, you, there's been a surprise on like a pun from you mm-hmm. next time. I started with one that I, it was a killer one, so I'm gonna have to stop. That pun game is weak. And that's funny because we're doing a game about games. They're really <laughs> like, I they're, they're really aren't a massive amount of games to begin with. They are there. There's actually quite a lot. Really? According Ooh. to my little list, yeah, and some of them, most of them, I have actually heard of. I'm just, I'm just having a look at them now, and there's quite a few with, which are basically the same uh, series. Vanquish! Oh, fuck yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mall and Vanquish, get your PC release. Yes. I on my bit list here. W. Uh, w. The, Wipeout. Wipeout? Mm. It's to you. X. W. X. Yep. Xenoblade has been said. And Ooh. X-Men vs. Street Fighter. X-Men vs. Street Fighter. I can think of one more released. Just one, though. <laughs> Which is that one for our glorious host? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> that, that 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 exists. Ah, what have I done there? Because the thing is, with the C and X Men versus Street Fighter, would, I'm guessing that would rule out any other X Men related games. Yeah. Yeah. See. No X Men Origins Wolverine, no X Men Destiny. Like, no X Men versus Capcom. Mm. See, X is an awkward letter. I can think of a few things. Well, I can think of at least one yeah. I sent you. I, I'm just checking. But now that I'm, my oh. brain's chugging over and I, I'm, a couple of them maybe like, surfacing a little bit. Yeah. I think this is taking a bit longer than I thought it would because we're now approaching the 50 minute mark. And I can't really say any of any, the, even though they're completely unrelated, the other, like, there are other, there are other games that have the Zeno, that like have a title with Zeno in it. But Xenoverse. Like, no, that's 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 a Dragon Ball. Uh, yeah, I would, I would classify as Dragon Ball. I would yeah, say. it's it's the like. Yeah, so, no, no, you said Zeno. It's like like Zeno Gears and Zeno Saga, which are I'd, unrelated, but they were just made by the same guy and had a similar name. That's all. It was. I would say. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd, I'd accept this because they're all Zeno Blade. Yeah, Zeno Gears. Yeah. Cool. What am I on? Why? Why? I'm surprised you go because I need to know what letter I'm on. What? You said what letter I'm on. We said why. Um, and you're like, because I need to know the what letter I'm on. The games that I've said with ah. why are. Well, the games that have been said why are Yu Gi Oh! and. What was the other why? Some Japanese one, I think. Oh, Yakuza. Oh, Yakuza. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yakuza. Yeah. Yakuza, yeah. I was right, Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> it was in Moon Ruin. Oh. I think you picked a bad thing for this alphabet because it's gonna go on forever. Yeah, like, you asked it, a games dev student. Correct? It's, it's, it's been going. This round has been going for twenty-five minutes now. Um, wow. Do you know what I'm gonna say? Hey, this is the longest Steve. Um, Steve. Uh, yeah, good game. Oh, oh. I can't be asked. <laughs> Sorry, it's just Stephen wins his new. <laughs> Mo- is new Could mobile phone. Well, well, I had I had a game for Z as well, actually. What? Zombie. Oh, fuck. The game uh, I, I had for X was XCOM. Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Of Z, I, I had um, any Zork game. <laughs> and so, um, the. You one Zork had Nemesis, Zork Nemesis, Zork Grand Nemesis. That, that, that one Zork that was in Call of Duty Black Ops. The one that appeared on my list for Q was one, and I didn't really think about it at first. Cubert. 
Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the could have gone vampire as well. I'm sure there's like a, a, this, there's a series of games that just go under the name vampire. Yeah. What's that? Well, yeah. Let's have a look at. Yeah. There, there was actually. Um, what was the matter? Yeah, yeah, on those besides the last few letters. Let's see. Up there. Yeah. On those ya Yoshi Yoshi's Island. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Yes, Yoshi. Yogi Bear. Oh, Yoshi's Story, fair enough, but Yoshi's Island is technically Super Mario I'm Brothers. I'm surprised you can Super Mario up. Brothers games, but... Yeah, Yoshi's Island DS, Yoshi's Island Super Mario Advance 3, Yoshi's New Island. There's Yoshi's a... photos that Kai never stops posting. There's also Ukulele, a relatively recent one. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh... John Tron did not know. So, young we should, we should maybe Jokers. segue to grinds up what grinds are he has. Yes, you know what really grinds my gears. <laughs> I mean, how long have we got? Like, uh, well, time let's, let's, let's do a quick, let's do a quick time check. It's, it's out the fifty-minute mark. So we've got like 10, 15 minutes or so. And to be fair, okay, until, until like before two o'clock. We'll but a, still, we don't want to have the whole thing oh God, yeah. too long. I mean, we could go slightly over because most of it was silence. Yeah, but still, it um, was long, concentrated thinking. So, what really? Did you buy pie? Yes, not spon not a sponsor. You know what really grinds really, my gears? It's not, it's not really a sponsor if when you, you don't have that. Pie is I, I think I, us. Yeah, you know what? Sponsoring ourselves. Yeah, but yeah. You know what really grinds my gears when you don't have that cool, refreshing taste of a nice glass of Pepsi. Yeah. <laughs> not, I, I'm, I'm slightly glad that Amy isn't act, like, isn't actually here because like, that round would take that would so have much taken, longer. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So um, wait, what, what 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 annoys you about the world of geekiness and stuff? Um, about the world of geekiness. Well, that, okay, that, I was going to say, Tumblr word. annoys everyone in every capacity, so we'll keep it to just Tumblr. I'm a Persona fan, that annoys me. Um, with regards to... See, because it, it depends how deep you want to go. Yeah. I mean... How politically... Well, how much, Ooh, well, well, how much can you take? How politically... <laughs> oh! I've actually got one. Go for it. Microtransactions in full-priced games. I'm not allowed to yes. talk about this. I mean, I have my ethic is, hey... I, 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 how Jewish are you being to me? Yeah, it's like microtransactions in full price games. Like, yeah, like basically, I pay, I paid for the game. Why do I want to pay for other things? It, it, I, I'll be honest. I think it's fine if it's just cosmetic stuff. To quote a gym, to, to, to quote a, to quote a certain games critic, is it, it Jim Sterling? A, a fee to pay game, like yeah, a game that you're paying full price for in order to keep paying more. You know what grinds my it's, gears? Ugh. The way Star Wars is going. Hmm. Right. Um, I've gotten to the point where it's like, um, if anyone's seen that new Star Wars animated series they're doing, it's literally written by a bunch of angry feminists. Is that what Forces of Destiny? Yeah. Seriously. Have you, has anyone seen the, uh, the quote-unquote action figures? Yeah, no, they're actually just dolls. Good job, Disney. You're making a series for girls and you're trying to call them action figures. They're actually dolls. Chewbacca literally looks like a Planet of the Apes reject. Plastic in face, rest of them spur. In on the issue of dolls... Mm. And obviously going back to Disney, um, the actual dolls that they make. I have a feeling you, have I you know seen... exactly which one you're talking about. The Beauty and the Beast one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Emma Watson doll, my god. I've seen it. I've seen Emma Watson. I've seen it. How much forehead do they want to give her? Um, have you seen Megamind? <laughs> it's, 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 it's like it looks like they've, straight, they've, given, her, like, they've given her a receding hairline well, and they've done this to her face. Like the the at least we know who's going to be playing uh, the leader. Is it the leader in the whole villain? I can't remember his name. Yeah. Yeah, at least we know who's going to play the leader then in the next uh, Avengers film. To Emma Watson. Yeah. Mind you, to go Rather than Tim Blake Nelson. Before yeah, just get Emma Watson's forehead. Before we deviate too far from what Steve said, because, yeah. I, again, microtransactions for me are a big... As someone who's caved to them, I can't really complain about them too much. Yeah. But there's one thing that I'm glad, and I'm hoping that they kind of scrap it properly, is season passes where they're not guaranteeing what you get. Yeah. So, I mean, Tekken's announced a season pass, but they've said, right, this is what you're going to get. So we'll release this and this and this and this. Whereas those people going, you should give us 32 quid. Um, we might release something. Yeah. I don't like that. I like, if I'm going to give you a more essentially the exact same price as I've just paid for the full game, I want to know what I'm getting. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's like thing is in, in some games, I know like micro transactions can be like kind of bad when it's like Ooh. pay like three pound to unlock a weapon. Yeah, and a weapon that bad. changes the game. TF2, like yeah. Right. yeah. Whereas like if it's say like in if it's a free if it's a free to download and play game like say like, Hearthstone. Yeah, micro transactions I'd say are fair like, enough in that because you've you got in for free, free and the the, pay, the the payment you're effectively giving is the mental assault. From the game, basically, like basically trying to get money out of you, basically, because you're in like a 
like a sort of haves and have not situation where like you see something that someone else has got and you're like, oh, that's cool. See, if I know exactly what microtransactions you would have caved to, though, if the game was actually still going to come out and that was Card Fight Online. Hmm, maybe. Like, but then again, it's a free-to-play game, so I'd say that's fair enough. But I know what you're like for Vanguard, Steve. <laughs> but anyway, um... I what? Just following on from that, actually, um, it's games that are released that you've then got to get DLC to get essentially the final bit of the game. Mass oh. Effect. Like, they don't release the entire game yeah, in it's, one go. Yeah, like, DLC that feels like it's actually been carved out of the full, ex like, the main yes, experience. Yeah, it, yeah exactly. Well, if, it's, if it's, like, say, the... The Skyrim DLCs, that's fair enough because it's a fine, it, it, it's clearly an expansion. Mm. Can, we, can I mention well, that got, The Witcher did DLC perfectly? You, you've also got the likes of Capcom that put the whole thing on the disc and oh, then you can see it to unlock it. Thank God they've actually stopped doing that in recent oh, years. I will, ooh, there's something else that has come up, come to mind for me though. The, the online stores of games consoles where basically they have the games priced higher than what they would even be at like be physically at That's retail. That's a issue, I think, to be fair, in with actual retailers, and especially still... mostly. I think within the UK, I think there's actually certain things that's gonna happen where the games will end up being cheaper digitally at some point. It's something to do with game in the UK. I know. Still, at this point, as it stands, it still kind of ticks me off a little bit that like even even when they have sales on, it's like. It still doesn't the, sa the, sa the sales yeah. have basically brought it down to what it would be at retail. It's oh, no, some of the sales are really good on PS4. Like, the Easter sale on the PlayStation Store is fantastic. Yeah. But like, generally, that, 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 that's the opposite of Steam. Yeah. The like, only downside about Steam. <laughs> that's Because, I mean, like, Steam, like, a couple of years ago, I got um, the rebooted Tomb Raider. Uh-huh. Which was an obvious T that was missed out of the Alphabet game. Oh, yeah, Tomb Raider, yeah. Yeah, um, Darn it. That, yeah. <laughs> like that, that, I then got, you could have said Rise of the Tomb Raider got, got begins with a different thing at the front. Yeah. No, no, because if it, if one it's, Tomb Raider had been said, that would have scrapped Tomb Raider. But yeah, well, we're but, getting we're digressing. But, 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 but yeah, like the um, what was it I was going to say? Uh, yeah, it was um, it was the price. Yeah, it was on Steam. So I got the Tomb Raider um, Game of the Year edition for like three quid on Steam sale. That's good. It was it was really good. I I played it up until the part where you crawl out of the cave and like shoot a deer. Um, that's about as far as I made it. You like, crawl out of a cave and shoot a deer. That's, that's like, pretty much any part of also the game. Also, that's the live action Bambi movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, but yeah, like crawl like crawl like, crawl out of the cave that's collapsing and I shot a deer. That was that was that was it. And apparently, that feature doesn't feature anywhere else in that game as well. Zero out so, of ten. So so that will like translate into. Annoying things. Well, like there's a feature that's introduced in the game that you use once and then never use again. Mm. There's apparent. I, I've not played the rest of the game to verify myself, but people who've mm. been like talking about it have said that, that like shoot a deer to get food oh. to survive. That only features in the first ten or fifteen oh. minutes of that, of that game and never again. Oh, that's that. That uh, I've just thought of something else as well. Needlessly shoehorning gimmicks into games that are less convenient Nintendo. than the, the control, like classic controls that you've already got basically mm. so like motion controls where which would have been simpler from like say the press of a button or like basically if it's making if it's you talking it about add, Star Fox Zero it might add to the immersiveness of the game but like to the like the overall like sort of feel of the game it might actually detract from it and it's, it's like, Mario, Mario Kart Wii yeah, like, like, on a, like basically, like, now. having to turn the, the yeah, like, you, it's, it's better, like, you, you kind of need more precise controls. Yeah, it's not the most responsive either, like, yeah. um, this is why I haven't actually, played Skyward Sword. Yeah, see, actually, I translate it into the Switch as well, because the Switch has motion controls. Like on Zelda, there's a couple of, like, shrines, which are basically like little puzzle areas mm. that you complete to get orbs, which you use to upgrade your health and stamina, and there's a couple of them that rely, you have to use motion controls on. You look um, like an idiot in public when you're doing it. Oh no, but it's all, but it's also like some bits of it. You have to tilt. Like if you if you're in handheld mode, it is so ridiculously difficult to use them mm. because like you're tilting it and you're tilting the screen, so you've got to tilt yourself with it, and then you don't know which direction you're supposed to tilt it in yeah. because it doesn't correlate to the thing. Like if you've got like in like just on the desk and you're using the grip controller, this is why Zelda it's fine. But if it's Handheld, it's un pretty much almost unworkable. It's a nightmare because, on the bus. Yeah, because you tilt it that way, and then you're like, oh, it needs to be tilted this way. But so you tilt it this way, and then that tilts it a different direction the way that you want it. And then it just go. loses all calibration. Yeah, or, or it's or it's not as sensitive as you need to see. So mm. Need to tilt it essentially 90 degrees to get the platform to tilt 45. 
it's sometimes a sensitivity problem as well. I'm like, I'd rather I'd just turn it off and use the sticks. That's Let's why see. you end up looking like a prat in public with it. This, this and is without something it? I, I, yeah. I can understand where you're coming from, but as someone who generally likes motion gaming because it's stupid, okay? Let <laughs> me put it this way, the amount of stupid things I've done because I was playing on a Kinect, yeah, so in or I was like, moving a move control, the stupid thing. This is why I own a VR. See, the thing is, if it, if it was Kinect, then it's fine, or iToy. iToy is one of the classics. I toy Harry Potter more iToy. Harry Potter, Prison of Azkaban Adam iToy. Was, Adam yes. was talking about that yesterday. It's brilliant. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the best thing on iToy was um, iPlay. I, I just the like the basic thing it showed from off because it was yeah. just it was fucking hilarious. When I'm cleaning oh, windows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I love not, that game. Well, actually, not in that song has a couple so of extra, couple of extra verses that were actually cut because yeah. it was like. Um, I've got that song on my iPod actually. Yeah, it's like, um, like Frank Skinner on QI did did a couple of songs. Songs it was like, um, was it at eight o'clock a girl awakes at ten past eight the bath seat takes at quarter past my ladder breaks when I'm, I'm cleaning windows. windows. <laughs> <laughs> There's a famous movie queen. She looks a beauty on the screen. She's more like eighty than eighteen when and I'm, I'm cleaning, cleaning windows. windows. <laughs> takes her hair down all behind, then takes down her never mind, and finally takes down the blind. Mind when I'm cleaning <laughs> windows. <laughs> yes. Oh god, but um. But like uh, that, that one, everybody just cheated on that one by just like hand right up to the eye toy and just doing this. Yeah. I didn't do that. Cheat. I, I, no, cheat. No, no, you no, 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 no. I cheated in a different way, but obviously you can imagine I come up with the most comical ways to cheat. Basically, I decided it was easier to, to swing Adam around. No, to grab the bottom of my shirt and do it that way. <laughs> <laughs> so I just like rub my shirt. I'm sorry, the camera. Are we forgetting <laughs> that this is a podcast and they can't see you doing that? Yeah. Imagine someone grabbing the bottom of their shirt what? and run, running what? it up no, and down. That's just kind of like lifting a top on. <laughs> Take that how you will. Um, that's it. It's reasons like this as to why I own a PlayStation VR. That's a lie. I own a PlayStation VR because there's a game called Summer Lesson where you have to tutor a cute Japanese girl. It's all in Japanese. I have no idea what's going on, but just cute. One of the, one of the things. See going if back I've been to doing that maybe going soon. Going back to motion gaming, and as someone who loves it, right? Because it's like, as I said, it's stupid. I do have my gripes. So you know when calibration is wrong, like even with the Kinect, calibration can be horrific. Like there's been times where it's decided my arm is dislocated through my back. I don't oh, know, the understand Kinect, the Kinect calibration was, issues. Tell me something new, Bex. Well, like like the was, newer Kinect, the first Kinect was terrible. Actually, the newer was, one's not too bad. One, one, no, I, think, the I think it was somebody who had a problem with that Kinect where it registered their sofa as a person. Oh. <laughs> my arm. <laughs> story. My Kinect decided that my face was my boobs. It zoomed that, in. That, made, that makes sense. Right. Was it a man? <laughs> did you? Did, was it a man? It was a man. Just no, no, the connect. It's just Bill Gates looking at you. I think I was doing like Skype through my connect. Excuse me, my eyes are up here. And it did. Um, <laughs> my eyes are up. The connect has a function where it's like press X to focus on the face. So it did that, and then it kind of panned down. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are up here. But well, clearly, that government agent dropped the ball. <laughs> Oh, like I'm gonna have oh, to check that out. Yeah. Uh, no, but like motion gaming is, to be fair, motion gaming is a little bit more relevant, but that's only because of the sort of like introduction more of VR. Motion, within, motion controls within VR is basically the best thing to happen to motion controls ever. It's fantastic. However, Job simulator um, is a perfect the thing is example. There are some games that muck that up. I, mean, I was told through, I think it was Ryan, told me that the Resident Evil VR. Oh, you it's, don't it's, gr- it's great, but when you're using it with the controls and stuff, it's so che- It's like it jumps. So obviously That's you turn your head, you move the you move the analog stick, and then it jumps it, um, and it, yeah. it, it ruins the experience. The reason yeah. for it is that without that, it's a little bit like if you were using that to move your head and you weren't moving your head, it would feel really off. So it's a little bit the idea of you get disorientated and cause motion sickness because imagine I'll tell you what you're doing that sickness. to move your head but you're still not moving it it feels really unnatural I'll tell you again that caused motion sickness to mm. the point where they had to disable it for the PlayStation and that was Among the Sleep it's a game where you play as a toddler and in the night you lose your mother and you get t- guided by your teddy bear through this weird it kind of, it's somewhat warped anyway there's a bit in the beginning when the toddler's picked up by the mother they had to disable it because that tiny bit alone was simulating you getting picked up but you weren't so everyone was getting motion sickness, like from, yeah. from one tiny, it's like not even five seconds long this segment and it's causing motion sickness. Wow. So they had to disable the motion, the, the VR element of it. Yeah. It's a good game, huh? Yeah. Damn it, we need a pie video on VR. What, Wink. what irritates me, and I found it more with when I've been playing Grim Eclipse is, obviously it's not the best made game anyway, but yeah. games where you're doing something and you're working towards it and it decides, error. Yeah. Um, 
and you're like, what? Oh, I and it has doesn't have an auto save feature, Whoa. and you're just like, what? what oh yeah, I know exactly. You, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, don't I you? know exactly <laughs> what you're on about. You know, trying to kill Alpha them. Alpha Beowulf. Well, actually, that, that yeah. makes me think it was Sonic 06. Oh, oh that's not that's not that's that's game. Not I like game. Sonic 06. This angry video game nerd actually I did, did, that, did, yeah. a, did, did, did a video on Sonic 06. And one of the things he picks up on is like, oh, you get, get, eventually get to the first level. And then you, you say you die on the first level. It takes you back. Not back to the start of the level. Not even back to the town that you were in that's basically the hub. It takes you back to the opening cutscene. You mean the cocktease cutscene? Where cu the cutscene? <laughs> yeah, the cutscene. Because it basically it's this really beautiful cutscene. Cu I'm gonna call it that from now on because the game cocks you. <laughs> um, yeah. What it, it look? It looks beautiful. Anyway, because it kind of looks like a Final Fantasy game. Then you see Sonic, yeah. and even Eggman looks really kind of cool in it. Yeah. And then you get to the cutscene after that, and it's like, where did the light engine go? Yeah. But anyway, we're gonna going to the same place we're going. Yeah. Home. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to wrap this up now yeah, because, that's fair. Um, because we, we, we've reached past the hour mark, and um, <laughs> well, five minutes ago, only five minutes ago. Oh, but um, right. we've also got the um, the group has booked the chimp as well coming yeah, up that's in a cool. month. So it's gonna... actually the SS coming to find us because yeah. we mentioned Nazi fairies before. <laughs> Quiet, Dan. Um, <laughs> Anyway, so uh, it's been myself, uh, Jared, Bex, and Stephen, and, and, the, and, the, and the ghost of Amy once more. Yep. Um, so thank you for joining us, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.